guys, I'm Rebecca and these are my reviews and this video is brought to you by Bideem who sent me this beautiful toaster. Isn't this adorable? It's got this wonderful retro vibe to it. It kind of looks like a like an old school radio. <laughs> That's what it makes me think of. Uh, and the color on this, they do only have this color and just like a regular silver stainless steel look, but I love this green. It's called, it's actually called Cozy Greenish is the name of it. And it's like a seafoam minty pistachio Cozy greenish, that's the color. So it is a four slice toaster and it has the wide slots so you can easily shove a bagel in there. And it's got the two different uh, things. So you know you can do just one slice at a time or do them differently if you've got a bagel in one side and regular toast in the other, which I think is nice. It's just a push down thing and it's got this nice kind of wide flat thing to make it easy to push down. It's a gentle spring and it locks at the bottom and then after you push that down, you can select from these buttons. So the first one we have on there is a cancel. You press that and it pops back up, right? And then you have bagel slash muffin, defrost, and reheat. With the bagel slash muffin one, I've never actually seen a muffin setting on a toaster. I actually thought that was really, really cool. I have seen bagel where it's supposed to toast the inside of the bagel and then not as much on the outside, right? And the muffin is meant for like an English muffin where it's got two different textures on the side. So you've got the solid side and then your nooks and crannies side, right? So it actually toasts it a little bit differently, which I thought was a unique feature and I really like that. And then the defrost button is for when you're, you know, toasting something that's frozen. It actually warms it up first and then toasts it. And then the reheat button just warms it up without toasting. My daughter loves the reheat button because she's, you know, a lot of times she'll make me like microwave something to warm up her bread, but she doesn't want it crunchy like toast. So she's obsessed with that reheat button, which is great because that's another feature that I've never seen on any of my toasters. You know, I always just said put it on the lightest setting, but even then it still gives you a little bit of a toasting. The reheat just warms it up. It's awesome. And then you've got this little turny knob down here. This is, this is probably why I think it reminds me of a radio because of the turny knob, but you've got one through seven. So you have a lot of different settings. Plus the knob can kind of go in between, although because with the seven different settings, you know, there's, I guess if you're a little bit crazy, you could do one and a half if you really felt the need to. Um, I can show you a picture that I took. I toasted, you know, bread on one of each of the settings. Plus I did a bagel setting so you could see that the inside was definitely toasted more. The outside does get toasted, but it's definitely more on the inside. And that way you don't end up with like a cold half of the bagel, right? It's still a little bit toasty. And then with the muffin, it's the same kind of thing, but it's still, it toasts on one side, but then it toasts more on the other side kind of a thing. So bagel muffin are similar. Also, when you're using the bagel muffin setting, because it is two different settings, for bagel, you would just hold it down. And can you see it lighting up? I know it's hard to see sometimes with all of my lights, but the it has an LED light around the button to make it very clear which one you're doing. And then if you wanted muffin, you just hold it down for a couple of seconds and it turns red, which is very clear and easy to see what you're doing, which is nice. So with the number one setting, you're going to get a very light toast. With the number seven, it's going to be very dark. Now this, as with any toaster, it, you're going to have to play with it and each time you use a different type of bread, you might get a different toasting because of the density of the bread, the, mo the amount of moisture in the bread, etc. Also, one of those things that you need to watch out for if you're toasting a lot of bread, the toaster does warm up. So the same setting, if you have it on say three and it's you know a perfect toast for you on like the third or fourth time, it's going to be just a little bit darker because it's already been basically pre heated, you know what I mean? So just something to be aware of. And I think that's pretty standard of most toasters that, you know, once they're warm, it's more of set on a timer rather than like a heat level kind of a thing. So it's got, you know, the little stand up nubbins on the bottom. So you've got some space underneath it. The bottom is like this plastic material. The rest of it is like a stainless steel metal. And then the trays actually pop out from the back 
and you know, they're just little trays like this that you can pop out and clean, dump out all your little crumbs from your toasting. It's got little vents on the side. I've been using this one for a couple of weeks now. You know, my whole family's been using it. This is our new toaster. And I have to say, I'm really happy with it. Like I said, my daughter loves the reheat button and it's easy for the kids to use. It's very clear. The one thing that I do wish is that while I love the light up buttons, I kind of wish that the knob was just a little more clear because I keep going in there and toasting something and forgetting to adjust the knob and whoever toasted something before me has changed it probably to like number one instead of number three, which is where I like it. And another feature that I really like is that you press the buttons after you press the lever down. And I know that seems like a simple thing, but with my previous toaster, you had to press the buttons before and then push it down. And I would constantly forget. Another thing is that you set it every time you toast something. That's another problem with my old toaster is that if you have it on bagel setting, the next time you go to take toast something, it's still left on bagel setting. And this is every time you use it, you choose whichever setting you want. And if you just want regular toast, you don't have to press anything, you know, just press it down and you're good to go. When I first got it, it smelled like, you know, factory toaster. So usually what I do for that is I just, you know, do an empty toast like once or twice to kind of burn the smell out. And then after that, it's fine. I've only had it for a couple of weeks, so I can't speak to the longevity of it or anything like that, but I am really happy with it. I think the quality of it seems to stand up. You know, the paint doesn't feel cheap or like it's going to chip off. Um, the buttons are nice. They have a good press to them so you can actually feel it. I love that they light up and this has a nice wide thing. It's easy to push down. It's not very loud when the toast pops. And so several times I will be toasting things and I, I don't hear it toast because probably because my kids are screaming in the background, but that's like my only complaint. And honestly, that's probably a good thing, right? Because you don't want a giant loud toaster. So, you know, and you can see your toast does pop up. And it also has the thing where if your toast is kind of low in there, it ha you can just raise it up a little bit and it lifts it up out of the toaster, which is really nice. A lot of times I'll have like small pieces of leftover waffle or something and you know, they, they get kind of stuck in there. So I can just do this and then I can reach them pretty easily. It's also great for the kids because the kids can be, you know, because it's warm up here, right? And they don't want to burn themselves. So they just do this and then they can grab their toast really easily. So it's been great for the whole family. Kids use it no problem. It's got great settings. Um, I like the turny knob and that it has seven different settings. Like I said, I just wish it was a little more clear as to which setting it was on. I don't even know how they would do it. Maybe light it up or something, who knows, but I love it. I love the look of it. I love how easy it is to use. I'm super happy. Should I toast something for you? Let me toast something. Yeah, I got some bread. Let's see, I'll do two different ones and I'll do bagel. And then on this one, I'm actually just gonna do reheat and show you guys how that works. So it's toasting in there. I'll let you know when it pops. And while that's toasting, the toaster is $59.99, but I'm pretty sure that I have discount code, so make sure you check out the description box for that if you are interested in getting one of these. It's available off of their By Deem website. You can also get it on Amazon. And like I said, it comes in this lovely green color, but if you're not a big fan of the, whoo, already the reheat popped. If you're not a fan of the green, it does come in just plain silver as well. Okay, so the reheat already popped, and I wanted you to see it's still super soft. Like, can you tell I'm squishing this? And it's not toasted, it's just warmed up. I love that. It's, it's such a great setting. Hold it up so you can actually see when the toast pops. And the toaster itself, I mean, I'm holding this, and the toaster itself is not super hot, so you're not gonna burn yourself by touching the toaster. Like, my kids are a little afraid of getting the stuff out of the top, but it's not that hot. And the outside is cool to the touch. Woo, there it goes. And then, see, I can lift it up and it raises it up quite a bit, actually, so that you can, you know, grab it out of there. Okay, so this is the bagel setting. So see, this is the inside of the bagel, quite toasty, and then the outside of the bagel, not as toasty. The evenness of it is a little off, but for the most part, I would say that it toasts 
fairly evenly. So I think that's pretty much it. I think I've covered everything. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and ask. I'd be happy to answer. I'm loving this toaster. I think it's adorable and wonderful and functional and great. I'm super happy with it. Anyway, like I said, all of the information, including my discount code, will be in the description box, so make sure you check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!